So, can I just get one big old darn tootin'? Uh, festival season is nearly at hand. Ya darn tootin'. And we're going to have a wonderful festival season this year. Ya darn tootin'. I realize that this is, you know, a little bit of silliness, and a little silliness is good for the soul. Um, in the process of our travels throughout the year, festival to festival, uh, sometimes we go a year without seeing one another. And uh, the anticipation is, is a lot like, you know, children waiting on Yule Eve before they go down and slaughter their presents. Of course, a lot of pagan parents, being very indulgent, allow the kids to open the presents before they go to bed. <laughs> and also, uh, in our world, uh, just remember, all good witches have chocolate for breakfast every morning. Um, you know, I've, uh, I've had a rough period of time uh, recently. Um, you know, certainly my health hasn't been at its best. Uh, but, you know, I, I do the best I can with what I got. And, um, you know, I do have a, a number of people in my life that are a positive reinforcement for me to continue taking care of myself. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm at a crossroads in my life where, you know, there are things that uh, I want to continue working on. Um, but, you know, time is, is of the essence and I have to take that into consideration. And I don't have the energy that I once did to be able to pull off all of these wonderful things. So I think probably, um, you know, from this summer on, I'm going to concentrate my energy on a few students um, and definitely on uh, the three protégés that I'm working with. Um, I'm going to get art camp built and uh, basically the idea behind that is we will have a, a campsite, a traveling campsite, wherever we go, where we'll have performing artists. Um, we will have those that produce jewelry and, you know, do painting and uh, things like that. Um, you know, there will be vending. Um, because, you know, artists have, have got to be able to live and survive. You know, I, when uh, Ryan and I started the Gossamer Court, we were a little bit naive about a lot of things, thinking that we could do it solely with community support and, uh, you know, the, that we wouldn't have to in any way go commercial. And, you know, I'm not talking about commercial in a conventional sense, but I am talking about providing a platform and a forum for artists to be able to make money, um, if not to outright uh, support themselves doing what they have a passion for doing, at least being able to subsidize their income and afford uh, supplies. Um, we have been very fortunate this year in having uh, donations from people, uh, you know, of, of different things, supplies, items, tools that we can use. And uh, as we continue to build this, um, the idea that Shay, myself, um, Evan, Maria, Dustin, and a few other people are working on is to have a stationary uh, you know, Gossamer Court Center. And it's our hope that with this prototype that other people will see what we're doing wherever they might be and basically set up the same thing. Um, you know, maybe acquire land through trust or, or grants and, and build on that. Um, I'm not necessarily talking about conventional uh, intentional communities. But, you know, the more I, I look at the outside world, 
And the, the more in the last couple of years I have experienced uh, the mundane, um, you know, a lot of us don't do really well in the outside world. We, we truly don't. And, uh, you know, we are at our most inspired and creative uh, when we're together in numbers. Of course, you know, some people are raising families and they have obligations to that. Um, but I just don't see any reason why we can't start building uh, communities. Um, you know, where there's a, a fair exchange, uh, certainly in, in, you know, support of the community and keeping things alive, the infrastructure, but also a place where people can go and do what they need to do to survive and to, you know, pay and take care of their bills, etc. You know, I mean, the thing is, people that talk about this apocalyptic vision of, you know, everything falling apart. Um, and some people say this with a degree of hope that, you know, it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Well, I've always found that uh, if you're going to tear something down, you better have something to put in its place. Um, and so you can't just want everything to collapse and, and fall. I mean, millions of people will be hurt and, and harmed by this. Um, I do see regions in the world collapsing. I see uh, fomenting greed uh, leading to the downfall of a lot of institutions, a lot of governments and organizations. Um, you know, the, the absolute certainty in life is that change is always afoot. Um, and everything does change. So, um, you know, in, in, in keeping with the spirit of that, um, at the festivals that we're doing this year, Summer Solstice, Starwood, um, Sirius and Summerfest, um, you know, we're going to have art camp up and running and we're going to work with whatever we've got, you know. I mean, there is one beautiful thing about the artists in this community. Um, when you don't have the right tool for the job, you create and invent one. And uh, we certainly have a lot of people in our world that are capable of doing this. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, this is... Uh, once again the start of a, a lot of vlogs and I'm going to be putting out a lot of information and if people want to help us um, you know with the Gossamer Court with donations of supplies or, or funds um, I'll make sure that all the information is up for that um, we're about one month away from summer solstice when this all begins so, uh, as time goes on, a number of us will be putting ideas out there, particularly for the artists, uh, you know, and musicians, uh, ways that they can uh, make money and, uh, you know, bring some positive attention to the philosophy of healing through art. Anyway, this is Jus Lundberg. I am the Fairy King, Beacon of the Indigo, and uh, you'll be hearing more from me. Much love.